Our starting was very humble. It was myself and a brother uh, in, a, in a very small workshop in uh, East Keelor, and that was back in 1988. Uh, we worked through dealing with the transport industry. Uh, this this uh, evolved into getting CNC machinery on board. Uh, that then took us into 3D machining, uh, took us into the oil and gas field. Our, our skills grew with computers. It's now taken us to this, this whole new uh, realm of 3D metal printing, which uh, I'm, I'm hoping is going to take us off into the future. For Amiga, general engineering as a whole had reached its peak. The company needed to find a new avenue to add value for its existing customers and attract new customers. 3D printing, in my mind, offered the ability to not only give consolidation of parts, uh, lighter parts, uh, higher performing parts, but create longevity for the business as well. If Amiga had not continued to reinvent itself, it would have just been more of the same, or perhaps less of the same. Uh, the process I felt for us uh, going forward was to find out how we could add value for our customers and value to the business. And I felt that the emerging technology in CNC machining, uh, as, a, as opposed to 3D printing, 3D printing was, the, was our, our path forward. I looked at uh, the, all the, all the uh, manufacturers of, of equipment uh, worldwide and I felt that the ProX320 from 3D Systems, at the peak of its technology, had the most to offer. Uh, partnered with uh, Konica Minolta, who could help us through the maze of the, of the uh, emerging technology scene, uh, I felt we were on a good path. The ProX had the ability to do some of the things that none of the other equipment could do. Um, the ability to change materials in, in two hours was, was a big one for us. And the, part that, the fact that we can get down to two parts per million in, in, uh, in, in creating those parts and having very uh, dense and, and usable parts uh, for our customers was, was second to none. Amiga is looking at expanding into other industries with products such as medical implants and components for the aerospace industry. Uh, the installation went smoothly. Uh, Konica Minolta provided a site facility guide which uh, allowed us to fit out the room in advance of delivery. Uh, being the first ProX320 in Australia, it was important that we had partners like Konica Minolta and 3D Systems on the ground before, during and after the installation. There's a lot of intelligent people in Australia, there's a lot of universities here uh, constantly uh, researching new ideas and those, those ideas have got to come to fruition. Uh, so so I'm, think, I'm thinking we're the next logical step in actually taking that evolution of, of knowledge and bringing it into the production realm. Uh, in dealing with uh, uh, engineers and designers, uh, we're, we're giving them opportunity as well to, to take their, their, uh, their newfound creations and uh, bring them to life. To keep this equipment alive, uh, running it uh, many hours at a time, days at a time, without break, we've got to make sure that we've got the energy resources available. So we've installed a 100 kilowatt solar system on the roof and a battery system to back all this up. We were lucky in a sense that we had uh, a partner in this, in this whole journey, I think is, is, is the message. Without Konica Minolta's ability to iron out the bugs uh, that, that, that comes along with such a, a, a complex installation. In the past we've been a very reactive company, we've, um, you know, what, what, what's going on in the world we, 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 we tend to just follow. We're not, uh, not near where we are now is we're proactive, we're looking at what is coming at us, where we're going and what the future does hold. So we should be, you know, sustainable and, and, and create a long-term long policy for, for Amiga Engineering. Mm -hmm.